Hi, right, it's Joshua coming back to you again. This is the fourth part of a six or seven part documentary and on what I call uh, relocation platform technology. And uh, this would be under the Joseph Initiative, which stands for uh, the Joint Operative Specialization in Pre Engineered Relocation Platform Technology for Mobile Housing. In disaster relief camps so that's what we're doing uh, this part has to do with the actual construction of the hexagonal pieces this this is just a little table I made for, for making these pieces here prefabricated units and so I've already uh, made up the rest of these and I have them glued in place right and uh, then glued in a hexagonal center. So if you're going to make these up, uh, <coughs> make these up on a, on a jig, on a nail table, you basically have your four foot side, your base unit, and uh, uh, your, your wrap here, three, three pieces of the outside and your inside triangle. These are all roughly uh, 24 inches. So you have one, two, three, four, five at two feet. Uh, so that's uh, 10 feet of lineal. And plus your four feet in the bottom makes 14 feet of lineal for each one. So you multiply that by, uh, uh, well if you count them, up, count them up all together, that would give you one, two, three, four, five times six would be 30 and six in the center, 36 times two, or what did I say? Yeah, 36 times two is 72, and plus your uh, four times six pieces, it'd be 24, so 72 and 24 lineal feet, so each one of these would be equal to 96 lineal feet of two by four. And the reason why I left the, the center blank is that there will be, uh, by using the scraps, I want to be able to pad up to the center. A uh, round pad could be a hexagonal, six-sided pad, and that's so you could do your steel work, or you, know, you could drill your holes through and put your plates and your, and your pins in. And that will all uh, give you free access for your, for your insulation. Uh, you could use bad insulation. Uh, the preferable insulation of choice would be styrofoam injection. Okay, anyway, I'm going to show you how the plywood goes for the, uh, for the base. I'm going to turn this like this. I already have this cut. Uh, this here is your uh, 4x8 sheet, and so I've, I've cut it down to put that much, cut off but uh, roughly a foot. So we're, out, we're just going to glue this one on here, and uh, how can we do this? Do it accurately. So you actually put this on like this. I should have had pieces cut up already. it out. So this is just going to be rough, right? Take the cutting board, cut this out with a knife. And we'll double this up this. And as you see, you get two four foot saw sleeves triangles left over. Could have went from corner from corner on this one. That would have been in the way. Your accuracy has to be close to 100%. Your tolerance is about one saw blade. Compared to conventional 
building using uh, geometric concepts require a much higher rate of work. So, the side pieces go in here like this and like that and you do the same for both sides, right? So these triangle pieces actually that are left over will go to uh, make up your framing for your your double triangle so there's very little waste. And uh, now the finished floor on the top side, I want to show you that. <coughs> So the finished floor is made from three separate pieces of plywood where you cut out your, uh, your plywood would be like so. Why is it smaller? It's supposed to be straight across in the bottom. So I got the plywood a little wider than what it should be. So basically that would give you uh, uh, a diamond if you take this side and put it over there, it would actually make up a full diamond, right? So you could, <coughs> you could use the leftover to, to, to spice your, your double diamonds for your framework. Okay, now for the floor, for your finished floor, your basic flooring would be like that. And this way, you eliminate any seams from doubling up. It gives you a three-way intersect. On the uh, locking way, the uh, around here where they actually lock, it's slightly modified, but basically your your finished floor will go that way. All right, that's it for this part. Part five coming up.